Welcome to Geology Info. When we think of Sicily, breathtaking landscapes, historic cities, and of course the majestic Mount Etna come to mind. This volcano is one of the largest and most active in Europe, and it's a defining feature of the Italian island. For centuries, it has made its presence known through eruptions that have shaped the region's geography and left a mark on its history. But now, Etna is drawing attention for a very different and alarming reason. Recent studies show that it's not just spewing lava, it's also slowly sliding toward the Mediterranean Sea. This movement isn't symbolic, nor is it something that goes unnoticed. Etna, in all its grandeur, is literally shifting several inches, a few centimeters, per year toward the sea. That may sound minor, but it's happening faster than previously thought, and it has scientists on high alert. The cause? Gravity combined with an unstable base beneath the volcano, a dangerous mix that turns Etna into a ticking time bomb. Why is this so concerning? Because Etna isn't just an occasionally erupting volcano. It's a giant with a massive base and colossal weight. If a significant portion of its structure were to collapse into the sea, the impact could be devastating. We're talking about tons of rock crashing down at once, which could trigger massive waves, tsunamis capable of hitting not only Sicily, but other Mediterranean regions as well. Scientists warn that such collapses aren't without precedent. There are historical records of volcano-induced tsunamis in the region, and with Etna now moving more rapidly, the risk feels more imminent than ever. The situation has become so serious that the volcano is now being monitored more intensely, with sensors and satellites tracking its every inch of displacement. Beneath the sea, near Sicily, lies part of the mystery. Under Etna is a layer of soft sediments, almost like clay, which facilitates this sliding. It's as if the volcano were sinking into quicksand. The deeper it goes, the more pressure it exerts on the surrounding rocks, potentially opening cracks and weakening the structure. And those cracks could be the beginning of something much bigger. It wouldn't take the entire volcano to cause havoc. Just a large portion collapsing could generate a dangerous tsunami. That's why understanding this process is urgent. Scientists are doing everything they can to anticipate what might happen and prepare the population. Because in a scenario like this, reaction time could be extremely short. Mount Etna is not just any mountain. It stands at over 10,000 feet, more than 3,000 meters, tall, and its base stretches for miles, kilometers. A partial collapse of this giant would be enough to push an enormous mass of rock into the sea. And what happens when that kind of mass suddenly hits water? A tsunami. And not just any tsunami. Scientists estimate the waves could reach heights of 33, 66, or even 98 feet, 10, 20, or 30 meters, depending on the size of the collapse. For perspective, a 33-foot, 10-meter wave can sweep away an entire town. What makes things worse is the type of sea Etna sits next to. The Mediterranean is a closed sea with limited space to disperse wave energy. That means unlike in open oceans, where waves spread out, in the Mediterranean they bounce and travel great distances quickly, reaching different regions in just a few hours. Countries like Greece, Malta, and even parts of North Africa could be at risk. Take the city of Catania, for instance, which sits at the foot of Etna. It would be among the first to be hit. In just minutes, water could flood streets, homes, shops, and roads. The same could happen to other coastal towns in Sicily, like Taormina. These are places rich in history, culture, and life. Places that could be entirely transformed by a natural disaster. And the scariest part? Unlike a submarine earthquake, which might be detected in advance, a volcanic collapse could occur without any warning. Thankfully, technology has helped scientists better understand Etna's behavior. With satellite imagery and sensors placed on both land and the seafloor, every movement, no matter how small, is tracked. These data points are used to build computer models that simulate collapse scenarios, allowing experts to predict wave sizes and identify the most vulnerable areas. These models act like maps of the future. They help define evacuation routes, pinpoint danger zones, and develop strategies to save lives. But for these strategies to work, more than just science is needed, investment, international cooperation, and public awareness are all essential. The more informed and prepared the local communities are, the greater the chances of responding quickly and effectively. There is a bit of good news. The collapse is not imminent. It could take decades or even centuries to happen. But the fact remains, the risk is real, and ignoring it would be a mistake. Nature has already sent enough warnings, and it's up to us to stay one step ahead. Hetna is still there, looming, smoking, and slowly making its way toward the sea. In the meantime, vigilance must be constant. 
The relationship between Sicilians and Mount Etna has always been one of awe and respect. For island residents, it's a constant presence. Part of the landscape, the traditions, and even local tourism, eruptions are almost routine, and people have learned to live with this unpredictable neighbor. However, the possibility of a tsunami caused by its sinking marks a drastic shift in risk perception. Lava is no longer the only fear, now it's the force of the sea. This new scenario directly affects daily life. Children in schools might start learning not only how to respond to eruptions, but also how to react to tsunami alerts. Fishermen, who know the sea better than anyone, now have an extra reason to watch Etna's behavior. Tour guides, who usually tell ancient stories about the volcano, might begin to include this new threat in their narratives, turning fear into curiosity to draw in more visitors. The region's economy, which heavily depends on tourism and agriculture, could also suffer deeply in the event of a disaster. Traditional vineyards, fruit plantations, and seaside hotels all lie within the danger zone. A single massive wave could cause incalculable damage, not to mention the potential loss of human lives, cultural heritage, and infrastructure that could be wiped out in minutes. Etna, for all its danger, remains a source of fascination for scientists. It presents a rare opportunity to study a geological process in real time. Researchers from around the world gather to interpret its signals. Each small slide, gas emission, or microquake adds a new piece to the puzzle that may one day save lives. And what causes this ongoing movement? It all starts deep within the Earth. Sicily sits in a tectonic convergence zone where the African plate is pushing under the Eurasian plate. This constant pressure creates enormous geological stress, leading to volcanic activity and ground instability. Etna was born from this dynamic and is now suffering the long-term effects of millions of years of tectonic movement. Add to that the volcano's own activity, constantly building up and redistributing lava, and what you have is a ticking natural time bomb. Etna is not alone in this tense Mediterranean setting. Other volcanoes like Vesuvius and Stromboli also pose threats, but none has shown such clear signs of shifting as the Sicilian giant. What sets Etna apart is the explosive combination of its size, geological location, and the accelerating pace of its slide toward the sea. A disaster on this scale would have massive economic and humanitarian consequences for the entire region. In response, science has been working to find effective solutions. Researchers are testing new technologies, such as artificial intelligence, to analyze real-time data from sensors and satellites. This allows them to detect patterns that the human eye might miss and to identify early warning signs of a potential collapse. Additionally, underwater sensors are being installed to monitor Etna's base in hopes of catching the first signals of instability. But science alone is not enough. Local and national governments must step in, creating evacuation plans, training the population, developing alert systems, and investing in infrastructure are essential steps. The more prepared the residents in high-risk areas are, the better their chances of avoiding mass casualties. Time may be on our side for now, but nature rarely gives second warnings. While the risk may not be immediate, Etna teaches us an important lesson. You don't play with nature. Being prepared is always the smartest choice. And even if it takes decades or centuries for a collapse to occur, starting preparations now could save thousands of lives in the future. The volcano is still there, as it always has been, but now we watch its every move with sharper focus.